let's talk about a, let's talk about a shopping mall. Let's talk about Russian propaganda, and let's talk about how f a false narrative can can propagate. First, we're going to watch a piece of footage. Uh, now, I'm going to give you a, a Google Earth shot here of exactly where we're going to watch footage. I'm going to break down a couple different key locations for you. Then we're going to watch another piece of footage, and we're going to come and bring it all the way back full circle. We're going to start here, bring it all the way around full circle. Here you go. Check this out. So, you guys have heard about the shopping mall that was hit, supposedly, with a Russian missile. Uh, it was supposedly hit with, or shot, from a TU-22. I'm going to bring myself back up here. From a TU-22. Now, there is a lot going around right now saying that that mall was not hit, that the fire that was started at the mall was because the plant immediately behind it was hit. I poured myself a drink for this. It's absolutely not the case. I'm, I'm going to show you video evidence as to why. We're going to watch uh, some footage that shows impacts around this area, this gazebo here, and that's going to be coming up for you guys full screen in just a minute. So let's jump into that for a moment. Stand by. I'm going to give you full screen. You have to kind of experience this. Here you go. So what we're watching here is this park. You know, the, the, the vibes that I get from this is like Central Park, maybe even a uh, monument area in D.C. I spent a lot of time in D.C. Kids walking around. This is in... Now, if you're not familiar with geography, this is generally speaking uh, in central Ukraine. Uh, even south of Kiev, I want to say it's, you know, a couple hundred kilometers south of Kiev. Oh, Pyongyang. How's that going? Wag bag, thanks for hitting the member button. Burn bomb, thank you for the two ninety nine. Eagle Spurch, thank you for the five dollars. So that, that about closes out that footage, right? Now, after the, after that footage, um, you know, started to propagate and make its way around the internet, everybody, most people have seen the the cell phone footage that just shows the the, the shopping mall. It's actually a relatively small shopping mall on fire and people rushing in. Supposedly, according to Ukrainian sources, there were somewhere around a thousand people in there. I want to say the death that death toll was somewhere around forty at, at last glance. I'm still getting caught up on a lot of the news after being out of country for. Uh, last week, we went on a cruise. Uh, we found a really great deal since cruises are just, just now starting again. Anyway. So, after this footage started propagating, which of course doesn't show an impact, there uh, we noticed a narrative developing that the strike actually impacted this plant immediately behind the shopping mall. Now, the narrative that went along with this was essentially that this plant was being used to store Western munitions. It was a military, which then would make it a military target. And that's what was struck. And the fire that took place here was a result of those Western munitions catching fire. I'd like to point out a very specific spot here. This spot. I'd like you to kind of commit this spot to your memory for a moment. Okay. We've got a crane here. We've got a bunch of blue things. We're going to, we're going to play our best squint, a uh, geo analyst. Now I'm going to give you a video and we're going to bring this back full circle. Coming up for you now. This is, we're, this is just hitting the website within the last couple minutes. So it's still doing all of its buffering and, and, and whatnot. I don't know. The hamster's running on its wheel. 
Coming up now. Now, let's note let's note a couple things here. Let's look at this yellow part of a structure. Okay. All the blue stuff. Our crane. This big yellow structure is what is what's key though. That is a that is a massive munition. And this is irrefutable proof that Russia has struck a shopping mall. Let's go back. Let's go back to the uh, to Google Earth. Here's the shopping mall again. Here is the general location somewhere in here of that CCTV looking at the back side of this building. That what we can validate based on the video that we have available is that the munition struck the mall. That is irrefutable at this point based on what we've seen. What we don't know is uh, of course without being there without you, you know really understanding uh, there were there was also a narrative that the mall had been closed uh, since March, uh, but that was refuted by you know some somebody's vlog channel who had vlogged at this shopping mall like the day prior to the attack, and it's it's a bustling mall. There's a lot that of course we can't debunk, but the rocket hit the mall. Let's move on. 